Hi friends, welcome on your Pedia. <coughs> so my this video is related to the winter admission in premium institutes in India. Like IIT Bombay has released lot of uh, seats for PhD and soon masters positions will also come. IIT Madras uh, uh, that uh, domain is open. I mean uh, the you can apply in IIT Madras for winter. In October you can apply. I think application portal is open. So, what is required to take admission in IITs in the winter and what kind of positions come and what is the way to get that? First of all, it is quite easy to get into IIT system uh, in the winter compared to summers because there is a lot of competition in summers. Number two, if you follow the conventional route like okay, the form is open, let us apply in the form, wait for the interview, go for interview, then the probability will, will be less. You need to outreach to the professors especially for research programs you need to outreach to the professor you need to get in contact with them and you need to convince them that you are the right person for their research group and you need to get into that now all these activities what we will be doing that uh, how it is to be done and everything for that Europedia has created a dedicated free whatsapp group a lot of students are hundreds of students have already uh, joined there in that whatsapp group in that whatsapp group we are providing the detailed information about uh, how to write a mail to professor how your cv should look like uh, how to write statement of purpose how to prepare for interview and any other query if you have and regular you know uh, discussion session can be conducted and will be conducted uh, for you people if you are sitting in that whatsapp group whatsapp group that is the modus operandi so link is attached in case you are seriously planning to join IIT system in the winter, you can join that WhatsApp group. Now, uh, if you are already in some educational institute like IIT, NIT and with scholarship you are studying there and you want to shift over to IIT like if you are in some uh, new IIT, new generation IIT and now you want to go into old IIT, can you shift? Answer is yes, you can shift. And the stipend or the scholarship which you are getting presently that will not be taken back from you, you will have that scholarship with you only and you can join the old IIT system uh, also that can be done so that is not a problem and you can pursue uh, you know your research in these educational institutes today in this video i'm going to tell you how to mail a professor and how to identify the professor how to find the professor and in case you do not have linkedin profile you have not created linkedin profile for you please do that and in that whatsapp group which i'm telling you I am also going to guide you how to create a LinkedIn profile, how your LinkedIn profile should look like. That is a smart strategy. So those students who are nowadays catching the professors on LinkedIn, approaching them on LinkedIn are doing smart work. Uh, there was a time when you used to mail professor. We will mail professor even today there is a more formal way. But obviously the professor is giving some kind of suppose you want to work with some professor. And how do you decide that with which professor you work want to work that depends upon your background your uh, academic background your interest what is your interest what is your academic background let us say you are from mechanical engineering your academic background is you have done some project on additive manufacturing so your interest gets fixed i mean you want to go in additive manufacturing unless until obviously you want to change it but you can change also btech to masters you can change it is not that you have done project in additive manufacturing or internship related to that so you cannot change your track now in masters masters me you can change so if you if you have decided that okay this is the domain in which i want to go for then catch the professor working in that domain now catch those professors on their linkedin start following them at least follow the professors let's say these are the five iits you want to you aspire to join and these are the professors with whom you want to you know get connected so follow them follow them and whenever they will release any kind of input or any kind of you know uh, post you will be getting knowing that you will be knowing that and then comment on that this is what the smart work is it is called outreaching right and then you have to frame a mail and don't frame it from the chat gpt you have to frame on your own i'm giving you the uh, uh, this particular uh, sample how you have to mail a professor and you can get this sample on in the whatsapp group which uh, we have created so uh, this is how you have to uh, basically mail the professor so before i go for that see uh, IIT Bombay site if you go and if you go into division there you'll find a lot of departments there right so let's say my my I'm from mechanical background so I take you to mechanical department let's say this is a mechanical department and in mechanical department then you will find people people may you will go to uh, professors right faculty and then you will get a lot of uh, faculties here uh, their uh, you know faculty positions you will get it and uh, you will find a lot of faculties coming and their background also coming and their research area also coming so uh, 
yeah <coughs> so faculties yeah so current faculties yeah so these are the faculties which are coming now now see these are the faculties and these are the research interests just focus on that what do you want to do you want to go into robotics or you want to go into material domain or you want to go into cryogenics and refrigeration by now you have done your uh, graduation i mean your btech so you may be knowing aap kis field mein interested hain or you want to go into fluidic domain or heat transfer or uh, some another domain so aapko yahan se dekhna hai aap kis cheez mein interested hain in which domain you are interested let's say you are interested in additive manufacturing aapne manufacturing mein btech ka project kiya hai aur aap additive manufacturing mein interested hain so he is the professor uh, jinka aapko profile dekhna hai professor uh, amitav de and his research interest what he is doing that is something you know he is working into numerical modeling additive manufacturing joining so those kind of things and research interest in ka kya kis field mein ye work kar rahe that also uh, will be mentioned on his uh, profile or you can go to uh, google you can find it out uh, what is his uh, you know publications that also you will get to know recently kis cheez mein publication kar rahe hain publication pura nahi padhna hai aapko you are not to read entire paper but abstract will be available on google scholar or something so abstract se tumhe idea lag jayega ki what he is trying to say and even if you mention that professor have gone through your recent paper published on this and i have seen that this is what is going on so you can see those kind of things in that uh, what is his research uh, domain what is his academic background so if you see that you will get an idea from there like what uh, activities he is working on similarly you know if you if you want to work and one more thing i'll tell you is like some assistant professors are more uh, aggressive in their research than professor because the moment you become professor you are dean you are head of the department and also you are little busy so assistant professor or a shade professor are the best to start with so uh, if this is you know professor ganesh let me take meta material of professor ganesh is working in this domain let's see what he has written so yeah he is working into this particular domain research interest he must have mentioned his all research areas or research domain i think it must be somewhere uh, it must be coming on his uh, uh, academic background that is his academic background research area uh, so professional publications so i think um, you need to see those on when you google it out on the uh, and search his name then it might come about uh, you know details of his research area and all i think it may not be coming so keep seeing the professors friend keep seeing different professor their work in which area they are working and then accordingly you can see that if some professor you find uh, his work is interesting you can add his work into your own uh, mail so the moment you want to drop a mail to a professor this is uh, how you are to write frame a mail maybe it is visible to you you are to write dear professor uh, the name of professor my name is vijay and i am graduate in mechanical engineering from private college you can write the name of the college and i have completed my graduation recently and looking forward for opportunity in research and academics in iit bombay and i am writing to express my keen interest in pursuing research in your research group focusing on additive manufacturing and i have read your research paper which is being conducted in your group and it matches my interest and background uh, so i am also advised by my uh, college project guide um, so if your professor also advised you to join some particular institute then you can also say that i am advised by my professor that i should join this particular course with some professor so you can mention that and after that you will mention about uh, in which area you want to work in Uh, let's say laser additive manufacturing you want to work in and uh, you have seen his work let's say he is working in this area so you mentioned that you are also working in this area and i have gone through your recent uh, paper publication paper i have seen that uh, abstract of that paper and i liked it so at the level of btech only this much is expected that you should go through the uh, you know abstract and you understand that what domain he is working in that is all it is expected from you and you have done whatever now you have done so this is what professor is doing and you show that okay i have gone through uh, you know your work so don't say i want to join masters or phd just say i want to join um, uh, research under your mentorship so uh, it may be like you are interested for phd it may be like you are interested for masters and if you are interested for masters m, m tech research you say i am interested to pursue research because there can be research assistantship uh, option also you can join iits with the research assistantship you can join it with the a phd program with masters program so you mention that i want to do research in your uh, research group and then you mention about what you have done in undergrad 
what was your btech project what you have done in your internship that you can mention and any other project if you have done you can mention that and also you have to attach your cv so what typical cv should look like and uh, uh, typically mail to a professor is this document so every day basis pay you start mailing professor let's say you have identified some 10 iits or uh, 15 iits where you want to join in the winter you can mail the professor and later on the same methodology is used to mail other professors also other uh, universities also abroad universities also that way you outreach to the professor and opportunities will open up for you so let's explore opportunities friends this winter for us and as i told you it is very easy to enter into the winter admission so those of you who are having job experience of couple of years and do not have gate they are btech with job experience i think they are also eligible for phd program in iit bombay as per my understanding and others who have btech who have gate qualified otherwise also you are eligible for that if you are centrally funded technical institute like nits and all and your cgpa is more than eight i think without gate you are eligible so uh, try and explore the opportunities for you and join the whatsapp group of your pedia mentors will keep on helping you keep on guiding you how to proceed forward thank you